Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Larry. This is Work Less, Enjoy Life More. Uh, today's episode's a pretty special one. I'm going to officially start the refurbishment of this 1994 Texan truck camper. Structurally, she's great. There's no leaks, nothing like that. She just needs some love. She's getting a little old. The whole point of today's video is actually to take this dorm fridge and I want to put it in this location and then uh, just have it run solely off my my solar system set up here. I never know to call it solar system. I feel like I'm talking about space and planets. I'm gonna just start with taking this bottom plastic trim off. A little heavier than I thought. I don't think it's going to fit through the door. Yeah. Two hours later. So I got the fridge in the hole. This is not finished look. It's not gonna look like this. Uh, I am gonna trim it out, but I do need to box it off back behind and insulate it because there's a vent up on the roof and down below that I am gonna leave you know, open to where it can vent out any kind of heat from the fridge. Luckily it's full of food and water because I planned it out really good. So what I did with this paneling is there was already a frame that went around here that was from the existing fridge and I just left that in place and I pre-drilled and put some uh, sheet metal screws in there. It'll kind of separate the insulation from this back vent because this will be a whole big vent up behind here just to make it look a little cleaner and you'll kind of see as it goes along. And now we got to frame this front area for the fridge to go in. I'm going to use some one by two to frame this in and inch and a half staples. All right, so the framing's all done. 
uh, I've framed it around this this out to this top portion here because there's going to be some paneling that goes across this but uh, it's all framed around where the fridge is going to go now I got to get the fridge in and the insulation packed around it which should be really fun considering it's 93 degrees in here and I'm sweating and that fiberglass is going to go right into my pores so it should be uh, you know a pretty fun time looking forward to it Here I have some, just some basic fiberglass insulation. I'm gonna attempt to shove under the feet here. And we'll shove some along the sides. We're going to go ahead and cap off the propane line which is just this right here uh, it ran into where that fridge was at because the old fridge ran off of propane and or electric uh, this fridge is just electric we don't need the propane line uh, so i already checked it out this line runs into this compartment here where the propane tanks are at and we'll just go in there and disconnect the old line and put a cap on it also we'll check and make sure there's no leaks for gas So now I have to check the propane to make sure it's not leaking out of the cap, which I have a tester for. But in order to do that, I have to turn the propane back on. So this is a gas, like a leak detector for gas. Um, it would be red if there was any kind of a hint of propane coming out. It seems like that cap is working just like it should. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the propane back off because I'm not using this truck camper right now, but at least that part's done. And now I'll just cut the old propane line out of the way. Okay. No more propane line. The plan is now is I'm going to use some of this miscut door casing that I had in my in my job trailer, and I'm going to put this surrounding in the refrigerator with 45 of the corners. That's the plan. So now I'm going to cut these, hopefully to fit right the first time. I don't really have any other extras. So yeah. So I'm going to switch over to a finish nailer. I've got inch and a half long finish nails. What I'm trying to do is line up this. That way it's all flush. Okay, I notched a little piece out. It's gonna go over the hinge. As you can see, everything's flush. I'm gonna screw it in from the backside just so it doesn't move at all, but I'll do that in a minute. For right now, I'm gonna put a piece of, or I'm gonna cut a piece of paneling to go right here because this is where the, the stereo is gonna go. I'm gonna put the head unit and a couple speakers. I already have the 12 volt wires ran. I centered everything. These are where the speakers are gonna go. This is where the head unit's gonna go. I already marked it all up. 
Now I'm going to cut it out. First I got to start a couple of holes so I can get the jigsaw in there. That sits in there just like so. And then we just bend these little tabs up. Got these little 150 watt Pioneer speakers, and they're gonna go right here. Yeah. This head unit is actually the type that it doesn't have a CD player or a tape player or anything like that. It just has Bluetooth. It also has the capabilities of getting like AM, FM radio. And even though I'll be using the Bluetooth the majority of the time, I still want to be able to have the option to listen to the radio if I wanted to. So I found this little uh, antenna hideaway device on Amazon. It was just like 10 bucks or something. It wasn't very expensive. Let's just peel this off. I'm just going to stick it up here. I'll just hide these wires and then this will just plug into the back of the head unit. I have the positive and the negative hooked up. This is the antenna. So that's ready to go. Just shove it all in here. Make sure there's no wires getting pinched. I'm gonna use the staples, the inch and a half staples. Alright, now we just need to trim it out. But before we do that, if you guys like this kind of content and would like to see more, I'm actually working on an entire series on remodeling this truck camper. Plus, I'm trying to work on growing my channel, so I mean, I'd really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart if you guys would subscribe to the channel. Maybe even like it or even leave a comment on what you think I should do to this truck camper in the future. In order to put this trim on, uh, I'm going to switch over to a different gun. It's actually called a pin nailer. You don't necessarily need one of these, but since I already have one, I'm just going to use it. It has very small little pins. They don't even have little heads on them. They're just very small little pins, three quarters of an inch long. And they're so small that they won't split this trim when I'm nailing it on. Sometimes a finish nail will split the trim. Now, just one last thing. Well, it's all done. Now that the fridge is all secure. So thanks for hanging out with me today and, and watching this. And until next time, I'll see you guys then. Thanks.